go walk like Ronald, Ronald May, Donald, you walk like Ronald, Ronald May, Donald, you Dang, gang, everybody. So guess what? I am back with the secret formula that everybody is trying to get their hands on. How is everybody getting a prick? How do they do it in that compressor machine? Let's see. There is two methods that you can use to get you a crunchy, solid brick. The first method is, let's do it. Okay, y'all. So y'all going to pull your hole. I'm going to try to tilt this. For people that don't have a compressor, there's a hole where you pull with starch. So we're going to pull that up. And I already got some in here, so I just need a little bit more. Mm. Okay, even it out just like that, just like so. We're gonna even it out, okay, y'all. So it's it's very simple with this machine. If you got it, place your holder on the top. And my man bent mine, as y'all can see. But he told me I gotta make this work. So I makes it work. I don't have to do all that extra stuff. I'm pretty sure y'all just gotta put y'all's on. So next, we place the screws on. as tight as it goes. Okay, hey, y'all, so this right here comes with your jack. You're going to place it right here. Y'all see that hole right there? Make sure it's right there in the hole. I know some of y'all, man, y'all might have a hard time finding the hole, but uh, it's right there. There we go. Get your jack. I'm actually going to turn mine because I got it the wrong way. start compressing it I actually forgot the this is a new one y'all so whenever you got a new one there's this piece down here you have to tighten before you use it so you just tighten this piece right here let me show y'all just in case y'all struggling with it this piece right here you use this and you tighten it. and if your jack ain't going up that's why it's not going up because that piece is loose so now that we tightened that, we're going to start compressing it. As y'all can see, it's going up and the starch is flying out. So make sure you put a good amount of starch because you're going to lose the majority of it when you start jacking it. And you're just going to keep going and get it the tightest that you can get it. Which ain't that tight for me because I'm weak. Okay. So, remove this. Leave this as you see it. The two methods that you can do, you can place this whole thing inside of a pot of boiling water for exactly two hours and then let it cool until this is all cooled off. After you take it out, after that two hours, Pull this out and let it cool off on the counter until it's cool and you can open it. The second method, place this whole machine inside of the oven. Actually, there's three methods. I'm sorry. So the second method, place this whole machine 
inside of the oven for two hours. That's gonna get you a super solid brick. The next method. To make life a lot easier, if you're scared to put this in the oven, which I know a lot of people are scared to put this in the oven because it's a jack, and it got oil in it, get you a clamper and clamp. My man did it yesterday, y'all, so uh, I think I gotta unscrew this to make it bigger. Yeah. And you're gonna clamp it. Keep unscrewing it until it's bigger. I think I'm going the right way. Okay, y'all, my man not here. So, you're gonna clamp it like this. If you got you a clamper, that's how I made my solid griddle that y'all saw me eating. You're gonna remove this and you're just gonna clamp it. Once you clamp it, you can remove this. It'll still be holding it together and you can just place this top part in the oven. You can just place just the top part in the oven. And that's the third method. So let's say it again. The first method, place this whole machine in the pot of boiling water, which I am about to do, and I will have the results for you in about uh, one to two days, for two to three hours. Second method, place this whole machine inside the oven on top of a piece of aluminum foil for two hours. Third method, clamp, clamp. You're gonna clamp this close. My man did it, I don't know how the hell he did it. Cause I ain't strong enough and I don't know how to do this. But you, oh, look, I did it y'all. Okay, so, and then you tighten it like this. Okay, I ain't doing all that. So once it's tightened, it, this is supporting your brick. So your brick is gonna be solid. And once you move this for my scary cats, for my safety people, not scary, for my people that wanna be safe, Get this, you're gonna unlock the bottom, unloosen it, and it's gonna let you remove this right from underneath this, but I'm not making mine like that. So that is the third method you can do. You're gonna need a clamper. Remove the jack and place just this in the oven. And this needs to be super tight. Right now, as y'all can see, it's super loose. So yes, I want y'all to write in the comments if y'all tried one of the methods and let me know how they turned out and let me know how they worked for you. As for me, I will be posting the results soon. Game.